Hi, Gemini's. This is your July reading. <clears throat> this reading is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope all this well with you guys. And we are going to go ahead and jump right in as we always do. Not waste any time, guys. Let's see. What is going on with Gemini's for the month of July? Gemini. Please show me what's going on with Gemini for the month of July. Let's see what that is. Eight of Swords here. Hmm. A lot of worry surrounding you. <clears throat> Feeling trapped. This feeling of not knowing how to fix something or um, get out of something here. This Eight of Swords energy. Who's crossing Gemini's? Please show me who's crossing Gemini's. And then we have the Lovers. The Lovers has shown up in um, the other two readings with Aries and Taurus as well. Uh, there, there's a situation that's really troubling to you and it definitely involves somebody that you love somebody that you feel this very strong connection with um, there's trouble in paradise is what I'm hearing because this is somebody that you feel like is your person this is also Gemini's energy so there's something going on here and I'm, I'm getting for some of you like it's um somebody that you have a lot of history with maybe have had a lot of uh, things go wrong with this feeling of not being able to move past certain situations not get over certain situations here like having ruminating thoughts about someone but it's almost like you guys are with this person you got back with this person for some of you but there are still things that are lingering, that's bothering you, and you don't know how to move past it. What is the foundation for Gemini's reading? Foundation for Gemini's reading. Foundation. Hmm. Six of Cups. It's kindred spirits here. This feeling of wanting to reunite as well there's like different scenarios going on here some of you have been with this person been with somebody for a, a while and so there's a lot of of uh, memories that you have with this person good and bad and those bad memories just can't seem to escape you. You keep going back to those thinking about those over and over and over again. Some of you actually want to leave but there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of history here. This person is like family to you. So separating from this person, like, you know, with this this finality um, is something that you can't fathom. Hmm. Let's see. That's Scorpio energy there with the Six of Cups. <clears throat> what was going on in the recent past for you and I? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you went back to someone. You gave it a lot of thought and you went back to someone. But there's still like these um, these difficult situations and difficult happenings that you can't get away from. You're constantly thinking about them. Even when you try to stop thinking about them, you're brought right back to how you felt. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Gemini. Crowning thoughts. Ace of Cups. Healing. You're healing. Some of you aren't with this person. But you still love this person. You think about this person. 
You try to stop thinking about this person, but they're still here. They're still here with the Six of Cups energy and the Lover's energy. So whether you're with this person or you are just, you can't get this person off your mind because you're not with them because of this Six of Cups, the, the foundation for this, re this reading, whether or not you guys are with this person, is the Six of Cups. This is feeling like, you know, there's something way more than a sexual connection going on here. There's something way more than just your average emotional connection going on here. This is somebody that you have possibly spent several lifetimes with, okay? This is like um, being reborn over and over and over again and, and sharing similar experiences with this other person that has been reborn with you. Okay, so you definitely feel like this very strong connection with this person. You love this person. Okay. <clears throat> What's coming in for Gemini's? What's coming in for Gemini's? Then we have the strength here. Being strong enough to work through whatever this eight of swords means for you guys here this is like really kind of structuring your thoughts and seeing what you can fix in the situation with someone can it be fixed because if this person means that much then we at least owe it to ourselves to see if things can be mended doing your part whatever that means okay so if this is a situation where somebody dogs you out I'm not saying be strong enough to go and approach this person that is not what I'm saying this is for those of you that you know things maybe shouldn't have gotten as far as they did okay because I feel like a hanged man situation going on here where maybe both of you got into it it was something semi simple and you just never like worked it out that type of situation okay this is Leo energy here this can be worked out if that's a situation and if there has time there's time that's lapsed or time that has passed and you feel like maybe it's too late it's never too late okay it's never too late to get things off your chest. It's never too late to try. <clears throat> How is Gemini feeling about this situation? Look at that. Ace of Wands. You want to start. You want to start over. You want to do things differently. There's still something there. Okay? There's still something there. That Nine of Cups is there. There's love here. There is love here. <clears throat> this could be reborn. What is the influence here for Gemini's? Ooh, there's an attachment. There's an attachment with this person. There's a strong connection with this person. I feel like there's a soul tie here. Um, but there is some codependency issues that you guys have. I feel like you guys are really in love with someone and don't know what to do about it. Hmm. We have Capricorn energy here and again I feel like Scorpio energy is here. Hopes or fears for Gemini, Six of Pentacles, that this person will meet you halfway. That is your hope. I feel like you want a second chance or you want to have another go at this relationship. You want to spend time with this person. I feel like you guys are wanting to know, wanting to be sure that this person wants the same. Taurus energy. What is the outcome here for Gemini? 
Ace of Swords, you have two aces on the board now. This is a new beginning. This is is coming to the realization nobody has to tell you anything but coming to this um, decision on your own coming into information on your own okay seeing through the bullshit cutting through the bullshit here okay now you actually have three aces you have the ace of cups the ace of swords and the ace of wands this is there's a new beginning on the table for you a new start a rebirth a second coming for you if you want it okay again if this is a horrible relationship if there's absolutely um, nothing that's salvageable here then no I would not suggest approaching anybody but if you know in your heart that you know things can have to go the way that they did then this is for you okay guys so that is what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.